There are things we don't tell each other. Maybe that's all right. Maybe we know each other better that way. The world is the shifting, inconsistent workings of a thousand, thousand map workers laid one over the other like sheets of semi-transparent glass. Or fit together like a thousand, thousand gears that don't quite engage. We are always looking backwards. We are always running. This is my pitch to you. I would like to make a graphic novel, or maybe we could call it a series of graphic novels, or maybe we could call it a long format serialized comics project concerning in exquisite and dramatic detail an invented world in a state of apocalyptic crisis and the frantic and precarious lives of many people therein. I would like to make something grandiose and committed and grounded in believable characters. I would like to make something bigger and louder than most things ever done by an individual in comics. Um, I would like to make it available to read for free on my website and elsewhere on the internet. Um, and, uh, and you can help make it possible for me to make this thing if you're interested in that we are going to call it third voice it concerns to start two people called spondule and navichet they are what's called gleaners they travel endlessly on a bike over roads left by a failed empire picking through a continent of ruins and struggling to make any way they can to look forward. They've traveled together a while, long enough to depend on each other, but not much longer than that. And there's a lot that they've kept secret from each other, and it's catching up with them. There's scavenging wizards, uncanny giants, sentient automata, perambulatory tanks, a mad scientist, and a weird psychological phenomenon afflicting the entire world. That world, which we might for now call the corners, is, as worlds tend to be, a huge and mysterious place, and our looking at it 
won't be confined to just one moment in history or just one perspective. If, uh, if this were a pitch to a publisher, it would probably have to be a one and done graphic novel that concisely sets up its ideas and executes upon them. And I would have a tight little summary for you here. Uh, this is not that. And also I'm talking to an audience, I hope. And I don't want to tell you too much that isn't going to be told through the comic itself. So you are going to have to trust me a little. But know that this is a story about an interrelated invented world with an obsessive thematic focus on looking backwards, on remembering and misremembering, and a complicated relationship to genre conventions like world building and objective history. It is a character focused story. There are global historical and supernatural happenings, but uh, there is no perspective that exists to see them other than people in the world. Here's some things that have gone into this comic. If you like them, you might like Third Voice. Dark Sun, Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings, Berserk, Neon Genesis Evangelion, Terminator 2, Future Boy Conan, Venus Wars, Invisible Cities, Mist, Techware, Always Coming Home, The Weathering Continent, Finder, Final Fantasy VI. You may know my work in comics already. It includes Rice Boy and Order of Tales, both sort of surrealist reimaginings of the fantasy quest genre. Island Book, a trilogy of kids' graphic novels amounting to a colorful riff on Moby Dick. Uh, the Harrowing of Hell, a Christian anarchist screed on state power and the Bible. And Vatu, a 1,300-page exploration of imperialism and identity through the lens of a bunch of weird little creatures in a medieval city. That last one took me a little over 12 years, and I learned a lot making it that I am ready to apply in a smarter and more focused way now. I'm ready to get serious. Some of that work has been with publishers, and an awful lot of it has been serialized by me for free on the internet and self-published. Third Voice will be free to read. It will um, move at a pace that's appropriate, and it'll unroll and explain itself with a density and attention that I increasingly think is only possible in comics under this publication model. That is to say, it's a sort of work in this medium that is really only possible now in our densely interneted 21st century. So, am I qualified to make something like Third Voice? Or since I haven't nailed down for you exactly what it is, maybe the better question is, uh, can I expect any of you to trust me to know what I'm doing here? Um, first, I am hoping it'll be fun to find out and to see if you think I'm justified in being so obsessed with this thing. Um, maybe it'll be fun to see if I fail. <laughs> Second, as much as I hate to sound full of myself, I have demonstrated my capacity to do this sort of thing about as thoroughly as I imagine it's possible to do. I have figured out an awful lot about building a story like this, about balancing overarching structure with improvisation, with... Um, granular, character-focused writing. I've learned more about this by virtue of having made these comics than I thought there was to learn. I have learned an awful lot more um, than most people ever have the opportunity of learning by experience 
about these things. This uh, puts me now in a position of extremely specific expertise and um, that I've been building for a long time and an extremely narrow route forward to work with that expertise for maximum effectiveness. This, as far as I can tell and articulate, is that route. I, I know what I'm doing now a lot more than I did. I want to make work in comics that depends on a smart and engaged readership and commits intensely to its ideas and its stories. I want to make something different that reads and looks moment to moment like nothing else in pop culture. This will be free to read. However, my appeal to you right now is this. If you are into this, if you want to read it and in fact want to materially contribute to its existence and hopefully its position as the thing I'm devoting my entire creative attention to seriously for a while, can I ask that you support my Patreon for $2 or $5 or whatever? How's that? There's a, a pretty enormous backlog already of development material up there for $2 backers, and there's more pretty frequently. For $5, I'm going to do a monthly uh, drawing and talking type of stream. More on that later, uh, that sort of thing. There's a lot. I'm trying to make it worth it. Uh, but really, if you want to support this thing in an inexpensive, ongoing way, uh, this is the way to do that is the way that I see it. If you want to pay a pretty reasonable amount every month for 15 or, or more pages of comics in a month, uh, this is the way to do that. Over the course of making Vatu, my last big self-published thing, I produced uh, an additional 1,100 or so pages of comics. I was constantly dividing my focus to try to make enough money doing this stuff it's um, exhausting to change focus so much and to maintain momentum on everything at once. I, I uh, really desperately want to just have one big thing to take seriously now. I haven't been just working on one thing at a time in, I think, over six years. And I know that I can move faster and I can make better work if I'm just working on one big thing. That's the main reason for this uh, this this whole pitch uh, presentation. I I have made it clear over the past sixteen years what I think I can do. Um, now, can you help me do it better and louder and more sustainably? If this Patreon thing goes particularly well, I have in mind a couple of areas for growth that have been previously unimaginable to me. As a supplement to the comic itself, I'd like to build a consistent and expanding uh, multimedia presence for Third Voice. And that's something that can get more ambitious as I'm able for, to afford for it to. I have already hired, as you may have just heard, Mickey Zakili and my brother Lewis to help with the, uh, the intro video at the beginning of this video. Um, I have some big ideas in this regard. And um, the possibility exists at some point of hiring somebody to help with aspects of the comic itself, particularly coloring, which can be a real time sink. I work pretty quickly when it's just me. The dream here is that I'll be able to work quickly and consistently and maintain focus if this is the central thing I have to work on and having someone else to help with some parts of the comic could um, make that go a lot more smoothly. I want to make the best work that I can make and I want to keep having it be free and easy for anyone to read on an extremely lightweight website. I am happy that anyone wants to read it even if they never tell anybody about it and uh, if they never buy a thing from me or support it or anything. But I want to make it clear to you right now that, uh, that you can support my making third voice in this uh, cheap, ongoing way if 
you're interested in that. Look, uh, I know there's a way in which this is kind of a gamble, maybe. Um, I don't really know what my career is uh, or how sustainable any given step like this is going to be. And I'm trying now more overtly than ever to say that your interest and support directly and self-evidently makes the things that I make even possible, uh, gives me the room to work on them. But I regret to tell you that uh, I've already gone ahead without you. And the first several pages of Third Voice are up right now to read at rice-boy.com and webtoon, etc. cetera. Uh, more soon. <laughs> I hope you'll follow along. That's the pitch. I would like to make this as big and loud a thing as possible, so that's why I'm doing it this way. Um, if you're interested in getting more in the weeds, I've put together another more high context video about where I'm at with all this. Um, perhaps you would like to watch that next. Um, if not, I'll see you later. Thank you so much for your interest. Mm -hmm.